Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So I want to talk to you guys about patients' responses now that we are open after, I mean not after the COVID pandemic, it's still happening, but the fact that we are now able to open. So I find I'm still getting a lot of questions, especially from I would say potential patients where they're asking me, you know, so what are you doing differently now? Um, how can you ensure my safety? Um, a lot of patients are saying to me, well, my dental office isn't open. Why are you open? And this is what I say to them. So a lot of dental offices, at least in my, in my area, aren't doing hygiene appointments. So they're still seeing patients for emergencies, for uh, restorative work, for tooth extractions, even for consults, but they're not seeing patients for hygiene appointments, or they might have less staff, so only one hygienist is working, and they're just still trying to catch up. What I'm telling my patients is, well, I don't know what that office is doing, but I am seeing patients for cleanings. I have the full PPE, so I work for myself, so I don't need to worry about buying PPE for a staff of eight or a staff of 20. I work for myself, so I am buying PPE for me, meaning I have the proper mask, I have the proper shield, I have the face cap, I have the gown, I have safety glasses. Um, I'm taking your temperature prior to every appointment. I'm giving you the COVID pre-screening form. I am doing all of that. And then I have some patients asking me or telling me that their dental office told them that they're not going to use any water, they're not going to be using the ultrasonic scaler, and they're not polishing. Um, so they ask me, so why are you doing those things, but my dental office isn't? So I say the same thing. I say, well, I don't know why your office isn't, but you do need the proper PPE to do those things. You need the air purifier if you have an office. There's many things that you do need. You need to wait a certain amount of time until after to see another patient. So there's many different things that you do have to follow. So I can't tell them why that office isn't doing it. Maybe they're just trying to limit exposure as much as possible. But I do tell them, I'm coming into your house, so I am doing all of those things, but I am following all the precautions for my safety. It's not necessarily for their safety because I'm in their house. So any aerosols that they have there anyway, they're going to be exposed to that. It's me because I'm going into their house, all of their aerosols solves all of that. So I have the full PPE on at all times. I do not take the mask off and I take their temperature prior as well as their oxygen saturation levels. So that's just how I answer their questions. I do, I do ask them if they have any further questions um, and usually they say no, that's all that, that they, they wanted to know. When they see me get changed, um, I mean not see me get changed, <laughs> But after I come out of their washroom to get changed um, in my full PPE, I do have a mask on at all times. But when I enter their house, I don't have on my full PPE, I have the mask on. And then when I enter their house, I use their washroom and put on my full PPE. But I find that when patients see that, they are happy, like they feel better. They know that I'm doing whatever I can to protect them. And they know that they need their teeth cleaned. They're excited to get their teeth cleaned. They're also happy that they don't have to necessarily go into a dental office where they might be exposed to more. That's what they're telling me. I'm not telling them that they're being exposed to more going to a dental office. I'm just kind of doing my thing and I'm letting them know if you don't want to leave your house, I come to you. So it's, it's all in being prepared and letting your patients know what you are doing to keep them safe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.